Hey, what's up my friends? Nick Arapkalis here and on today's video, this might be a little bit a change of pace on what I usually do, but I want to give a review on this program called EPS, Email Processing System. And the reason that I want to share this stuff with you is because I've made a couple of videos on this particular channel. Uh, one was about a year ago, maybe a little over a year ago, and another one was a year prior to that. And both of those videos are, pr videos are pretty popular on this channel. And a lot of people have been asking me about this particular program, name change, what's going on with PayPal, all this type of stuff. So I decided I would just make an updated review, share with you guys what's going on with this particular program. But, and this is a big but, is I am not affiliated with this. Okay, This is an unbiased review. This is an outside looking in. Okay, I'm just sharing with you my knowledge and expertise based on my years, my eight years of internet marketing history and what you can kind of expect and really what's going on behind the closed doors, what's going on beyond the surface that a lot of people don't necessarily share when they're marketing to you to join EPS. Obviously, it is a big program. I think it's slowly getting smaller and smaller, but I mean, there's people making, still making some really good money. I'm actually quite surprised at the amount of money some people are making i've seen some videos of people making like almost like fifteen thousand dollars a month with this particular program okay so let's jump into exactly what this is all about so um let's just kind of talk a little bit more about what exactly you're getting within the email processing system okay so it depends on who you actually sign up with but they all have these these like it's basically the same thing depending on who you sign up with if they're doing things right that would be my first thing is like if you are just hell-bent on joining eps then join with someone that knows what they're doing join with someone that you know is actually having results and they're not just sharing results of other people that that would be one of my biggest things and i'll get into exactly what that means as well so basically there's three levels there's the 25 dollar 25 dollar level 50 dollar level and then the 100 dollar level and ideally you would want to be joining at the hundred dollar level because there's a lot more value in that and you can earn on all three levels so the reason that the, one of the biggest reasons that people join this particular program is because of the money making opportunity that is attached with it okay you, that's how it's marketed that's how everybody markets this program they say hey look i'm making all this money or my friend's making all this money join so you can make all this money okay so that's what really attracts a lot of people so but I always like to come from the framework of what are you actually getting? What is the end user actually getting? If you just came in for the products and services, are you getting value on that level? Okay, because if if you're not, if there's not actually no value there, then it's not really a business. It's sorry to say, but it's a Ponzi scheme. If if you're not really selling anything that has value that can help an end user go and apply it to something else, not just to the email processing system. Okay. But more on that here in a second. I, again, I'm, I'm not saying anything bad about EPS. I'm really not because, you know, I think there is value in here. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just telling you what, <laughs> what potentially could happen if you did have no value and you were just selling a money-making opportunity. Okay. The $25 level, it's, it's basically all this stuff that you're getting is training on how to do social media marketing or just marketing, online marketing in general. So the $25 level has the Craigslist and Facebook training. From my opinion, and I've been doing marketing for about eight years now, Craigslist is not a viable marketing platform. Okay, so just to put that on the uh, on the map right there. Uh, we did that when I first got started, like six years ago, seven years ago, and it worked for a little while. I was never a huge fan of of Craigslist, but some people were making it work, but the people that did make it work definitely graduated to other platforms, and I'll be explaining more about that here in a second. Um, and then they also give you 100 of the highest converting ads and more. And this is a real, this is a big selling point on what a lot of people teach. And they say, you know, we give these high converting pre-written ads that you just have to post on Facebook and Craigslist. Well, the contingent is that you have to have an audience. You have to be able to get traffic to these particular ads. So if you just set up a Facebook profile and you have no friends and then you just post these ads, who do you think is going to see them? Nobody. And again, I'm not saying that they don't teach you how to do that because they do. I'm just saying like they make it sound a lot more simple than it actually is. Like you have to have an audience or you have to build an audience. So then therefore you can place ads in front of these people and therefore, it gives them a call to action saying, hey, raise your hand. It tells them to ask you for 
more questions, say yes if you want to learn more about this. The person says yes, then you have a conversation with them, and then you close them down for a sale. And they purchase you know, the $25, $50, or $100 level, and then you earn a 100% commission on that. Okay, that's what's really happening. A lot of people think that it's like, oh, you you do this weird thing where you just like do a little uh, email processing and they don't even fully understand what that is. And they think that's what makes money. But no, you make money by placing these ads. And then when people request more information or go to your website from your ad and purchase, that's when you make 100 percent commission. Okay, I just want to make sure that's clear, because um, a lot, like I said, a lot of people just they don't share the full scope of really what's going on. They just say, hey, all you got to do is place a couple ads here and there and you'll be making all this money when that's not in fact, like that can lead to results, but I want to obviously share with you and help you understand what is happening to get those results. Okay, so yes, these ads can convert, but you need an audience and understand as well, a lot of other people are using these ads as well so that... Um, if everyone's using it, then they can get a little bit of attrition when people just see them over and over and over again. They start to drop in the conversion when they say they're highest converting when they're always the same 100. OK, sorry if I'm ranting a little bit, but I just, I really want to help you guys understand this because I just feel like there's so much stuff omitted when people are marketing this particular program. The bonus or excuse me, the $50 elite level, you get all what you get in the $25 level, but you also get elite marketing strategies, Instagram domination. Craigslist domination, which again, I feel like is a dead platform, uh, Facebook takeover and closing scripts. And like, yes, all this stuff is good. Um, you need to like Instagram is one of my favorite places to market. Uh, Facebook's really good. And obviously you need scripts to close sales. If you're having some type of back and forth one-on-one conversation, I, I gave you guys a script on this particular channel. If you guys do want to go check that out, this was a clickbank one. I'll use the uh, the little button in the top right corner, you can go check that out if you want to. And then page traffic strategies, and then how to make a YouTube video and more. Okay, so I'll get into the, this here. This is interesting right here, okay? Um, the page traffic stuff. And then obviously, what people recommend is you join at the $100 level because you get everything in these levels, plus you get a free website. And you do want a website because it basically helps you explain things to people. You can send people to those, and then, you know, you you can close more sales because you can show off more proof of other people and stuff like that. Okay. Um, so you get LinkedIn training, Pinterest training, Snapchat training, Facebook marketing, all that kind of stuff. So like, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of value in here. And essentially what you could do is you could take this information, you could go apply it and create a real business where you're offering like a real product or service. So like maybe like a fitness coaching or a fitness ebook or, or like a cooking video course or whatever you can go apply that to other things most people choose just choose not to because they'd rather just promote this program because it's easy when you show off income proof and people are like what are you doing and then you say hey join this system so that you can make all this money too so um it's kind of like a little bit of a paradox but anyways uh one a couple things i want to share with you beyond this okay i made a video like i said a little over a year ago about this particular program in the year prior as well and it and i said on that video i was a little surprised that this program had lasted as long as it had because it was running off the payment processor of PayPal. And I know for a fact that PayPal just doesn't like these type of things. They don't like these money making opportunities, business opportunities. They rather use it for an actual payment processor of goods and services. And it was interesting because as I did my research, I found out that people that are using PayPal, still using PayPal for EPS, actually their accounts were getting shut down. And then when your account gets shut down, you can't get that back up. They hold your money and then you can't use PayPal for anything else. Therefore, you can't go buy things with PayPal like you're just dead on PayPal. So that was a concern. Like I, I didn't know if like why PayPal had shut people down before. But from my research, they have shut them down now and they've moved on to other things. They say that you can use Stripe, but Stripe is very similar to PayPal. It's just a different company. So if you continue to use Stripe, you'll probably get shut down as well. And then what I notice now is it looks like they're using um whatever it's like pay something i don't know some other processor that i've never really heard of but i guess it it works okay at least for the the time being so that's something that you can do i saw some other person promoting they had a different processor so um it's always just kind of like a, a battle of like jumping through processors paying processors because that's a big deal they just don't like this type of industry where it's telling people you can make money buy this program so you can make money they, they like it for goods and services not programs like these Okay, so 
that is kind of the gist. One other thing I will tell you is that, like, yes, they offer 100% commission. Okay? 100% commission. <laughs> Bear with me here. Um, and I just want to, you know, inform you guys on this as well as, like, one of the first programs that I joined when I got started in this whole online journey was about, like, like I said, like seven years ago. And they did 100% commission as well. And while it was a great system, just like e EPS is making a lot of people a lot of money, um, understand that if they continue to give away 100% commission, the quality, something is going to have to give. Okay, It's either the quality or the effectiveness. For the program that I was in, the quality was on point. I was very happy with this program. But essentially, like when things like I just don't think 100% commission can really last because you know, especially if the quality is good, which I don't necessarily think EPS quality is that amazing. Just that's just the facts. Okay. Their, their websites don't always look extremely amazing. You can kind of just sense that it's just not the most well created, but it works. Okay. But the longer it goes on with hundred percent commissions, if there's any fault, if there's any problems, hundred percent commissions that then that can cause some serious problems down the road. Okay, because it's at, at some point they're going to need to pay stuff. They're going to need to just pay hosting, something like that. And if they, they're just constantly giving out 100% commission to people, then they don't have any reserves. They don't have any money to, to, do, to do anything with that. So just understand that. And again, I'm, I'm really, if I am coming across like I'm, I'm talking badly about EPS, I'm not because I'm actually quite impressed with the fact that they've stood the test of time here. But I just feel like, in, in essence, just like I predicted last time when I said that the PayPal thing was that was strange to me, I think eventually there's going to come to a point where it's just, if they keep the 100% commission structure going, then there's no way they can pay for stuff if stuff goes south, okay? And then here's the last thing I will tell you as well. And I'm just trying to make this video a little bit different than the videos I made in the previous years. These ads, okay, these ads that they say are your 100% or 100 highest converting ads. A lot of these ads are just teaching you how to post income proof pictures and tell people to ask you questions about it. Because like you see it all the time. You, you look on YouTube, you look on Facebook. If you find any of this type of stuff, depending on where you actually saw EPS in the beginning, what was it? Was it, hey, free training that teaches you how to do Facebook marketing? Were they, were they marketing their Facebook marketing strategies? Or were they, were they saying, hey, I made all this money. Or, hey, my friend made all this money. Want to learn how? Send me a message. It's probably the latter, right? And that's what they're going to be teaching you. That's what these high converting ads are. And I get it. Like, I, I run ads all the time. And I'm always split testing and seeing which one gets better, better attention, gets better response rate. And bar none, it's always the ones that are income proof. But here's, I want to share a quick little story is that I, I had a lady that messaged me. She was in a particular program that had nothing to do with EPS or anything that I promote anymore. She came to me. She said she made all this money in the beginning and she was just crushing it. And then all of a sudden it kind of just fell to the wayside. And I, I was like, okay, well, tell me about it. Well, how are you marketing? How is things going? And she was asking for some coaching and stuff like that. So we, we got together and I was helping her a little bit. And I was like, what did you do in the beginning that was helping you crush it so good? And she said, verbatim, she said she went to her bank and she pulled out $5,000 that she had saved up, pulled it out, made a video and said, hey, I've been making all this money through this particular program. If you guys want to make this type of money, then just um, ask me to tell you more information. I'll tell you. And then basically, you know, people would ask her questions. She'd say, all right, sign up with this program. They were signing up like clockwork just because she was showing all this money, right? All this money. And then she started actually making money from that. But do you, under, do you realize how unethical that is? And that's just kind of what how I kind of feel about these particular um, ads that they're, they teach you. They say, just show off income proof and tell people to ask you questions about it when you don't necessarily have income proof. Now, yes, you can borrow authority and credibility from other people that have had results, but don't think that going and doing that type of thing is ethical by any means and it's right by any means, even if it's going to help you make a lot of money. Okay? So... Just be aware of that. I'm just trying to share a lot of information with you guys, okay? And then the last thing I will tell you as well is that, you know, you have this, and it's what we like to call a low-ticket offer, okay? There's a $25 level, $50, $100 level. That's low-ticket, uh, generally speaking, okay? And two, two things, okay? 
if you want to make like, let's say you want to make like $10,000 a month. Okay. You need to bring in, you need to get, you need to get a hundred people paying a hundred dollars, right? That'll put you at $10,000 a month, right? So understand that you have to get very good at marketing. You have to get, get very good at getting people to ask you questions so that you can get them to sign up. You need a hundred people a month and every month thereafter, if you want to continue to make a hundred dollars or excuse me, a $10,000 a month. Okay. Understand that. Just, just know, I'm just, I want you guys to fully understand this because the people that market this particular program don't tell you everything. They omit certain things. And then the other thing I would tell you about that as well is like, so with low ticket, eventually people are going to start graduating being like, this is so much work for not that much money. Okay. So you can do two things. You can keep on, you can do three things. You can keep on promoting a low ticket offer like this and keep working your and busting your butt to generate $10,000 a month because you generated a a hundred sales that month. But what happens the next month? You have to continue to generate those hundred sales if you want to continue to make $10,000 a month. Or what you can do is you can move to different trainings that have more of like a reoccurring payment or they're more high ticket. Um, And that's what a lot of people have been doing. As I did more and more of my research, I noticed like there's only a few people that I've seen that I've that are really crushing it still because the the people are starting to realize that this isn't the the most profitable thing to do. Yes, you can make some money. Yes, there's been people made six figures with this. There's no doubt about that. But eventually you're going to want to graduate, especially if you're doing any type of paid advertising. Lately, I've been doing a lot more paid advertising. I'm becoming a lot, a lot better, a lot more proficient at it. But the thing that you don't even really understand with paid traffic is that it's very pricey. Okay, and if you're promoting a low ticket offer, that's going to eat into your profits significantly. Like, if like based on the stuff that I've done, I'm not getting anywhere near like a hundred dollar cost per acquisition. Meaning that I have to spend at least a hundred dollars to generate a sale with my paid advertising. So if I was promoting something like EPS and I was spending money on paid advertising, it would cost me. You know, it always depends. You can always test with different things and everything, but. Typically, I w- I'm not getting $100, less than $100 cost per acquisition, meaning if I were to generate a sale through paid advertising, I would be just breaking even on a $100 product. But And that's why I like to go for higher ticket items now where we're selling programs for $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, $5,000, even sometimes more than that and just whatever, different products and services. That's why I do that because paid traffic is where you can actually scale, where you don't actually have to be putting in all the work all the time, generating those hundred customers a month, every single month manually. Okay. If you master paid traffic, you can do, you can scale that up just like that. You can just change the budget, go from spending a hundred dollars a day to spending a thousand dollars a day and your, your income just produces like that. But if you're promoting something of low ticket like EPS, that's virtually impossible unless like you're some type of super ninja a Facebook advertiser or whatever platform you're using where you can get like $20 acquisitions, $50 acquisitions, even like $60, $70 acquisitions where you're making like $30 per customer that comes in. So hopefully that was a good understanding, a good explanation on what really EPS is all about and what you can kind of expect with this particular program. My intention of this video was really, as I told you, is just share with you everything that isn't necessarily shared by all these people that are just saying, Hey, join my team. This is an awesome program. Hey, join my team. Join my team. This is awesome. We're making all this money. Join my team. Join my team because that's ultimately what like most of the people are doing. Okay. So thank you for watching this video, guys. Hopefully that made a ton of sense and uh, you got a lot of value from that. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you do want to get a little bit more advanced with this stuff, I have a free video training that gets a little bit more into detail. You can head over to mentorwithnick.com. Links down in the video description or just type it in the browser. But that's where we're going to a little bit more depth if you want to learn anything else that I had to say here. And if you have any questions, I'll put all my links down below. You know, ask me questions on, you know, you can send me a Facebook message, DM on Instagram or wherever if you have any more questions about this. But just to be clear, is I don't promote this. I'm just giving you my unbiased opinion and what you can really expect and what you really need to do in order to have success. Okay, ultimately, just, just continue to remember, like, yes, you get ads. Yes, you get all this. But... You have to put a lot of work in. You have to build your audience. You have to generate traffic. You have to get people to your website. You have to close people to buy the $100 level, the $50 level, $25 level. Okay, There's a lot of work. There's a lot of income potential, but there's a lot of work, especially if you're just starting out.
okay it's not just not just all about you know place a couple ads a day when you're just starting out and you're going to make ten thousand dollars a month that's that's silly to think that okay and a lot of people just overlook that and don't necessarily explain that and that's why i want to make this video okay guys thank you for watching this video again if you want to check out my free video training links down in the video description mentor with nick and that's really it guys thanks for watching the video make sure and subscribe to the channel and i look forward to seeing you on the next one